Hey, welcome back to the Cyber News Reviews channel. This time I'll cover Windows Security, AKA Windows Defender, which comes free with every Windows OS, promising to keep your device safe. But let's be real, built-in apps usually have a reputation for being meh, or just too basic. And with online threats leveling up, basic just won't cut it. So is Windows Defender good enough? Let's break it down in my updated Windows Security Review. All right, let's clear up the name confusion first. Windows Security originally started as a free anti-spyware tool way back in the Windows XP days. Over time, it evolved into a full-on security suite, and now it's the updated built-in version of what we used to call Windows Defender. But wait, there's also something called Microsoft Defender. Yeah, they really could have picked a different name, but apparently thinking of a synonym is too difficult. Microsoft Defender is a paid feature that comes with the Microsoft 365 package, so you might also see it referred to as Microsoft 365 Defender. Microsoft Defender is more of an extra layer of online protection, including the antivirus, a VPN, encrypted storage, identity theft monitoring, and other features. So now you should understand where the whole confusion on pricing and features comes from. Now, we're gonna focus only on the free built-in antivirus, but if you want a full Microsoft Defender antivirus review, hit that like button and leave a comment. All right, with that out of the way, let's see what Windows Security offers. Since Windows Security is already included in Windows, I could say that Microsoft is forcing this antivirus on users without giving them a choice, but it is a free OS with a free antivirus, and I'd rather see beginners have at least some protection, even if it's not the best. On top of that, Windows Security integrates nicely with most other antivirus tools. So along the way, I'm gonna recommend a few of my best antivirus choices that provide what Windows Security lacks. To determine how good is Windows Defender, we first need to check out independent testing. And surprisingly, they aren't super positive. AV Comparatives in the latest March test reported that it had bad offline threat detection rates, only 63%. The online detection was better, coming in at 97.5, with 18 false positives. Again, for a free option, which is, let's be real, a first antivirus for most users, it's kind of okay. But whenever your online habits grow, your security should too, and Windows security can't really catch up. Luckily, providers like Bitdefender, Norton Antivirus, or Total AV always get nearly perfect scores. Besides, Total AV pairs up nicely with Windows security since it lacks a firewall, while Windows has a built-in one. On to our own testing. The process was the same as with all the other antiviruses we test, with our team placing 150 malware files on our testing device and running the full scan. After over 23 minutes, Windows Security managed to catch a single file of the 150 malware files. That's not great to say the least. There is a way to catch more of the threats though. It's by using the real-time protection. It managed to catch 39 out of the 150 threats. If we compare that to Bitdefender or Norton versus Windows Defender, which caught respectively 134 and 121, it's still not great. But there is a nice benefit of using Windows Defender. It's not that taxing on the system itself. There were a few jumps, but the average CPU usage was around 50%. Though to be fair, with alternatives like Norton and Total AV implementing cloud scanning or optimizing their tech, they can offer similar performance. Anyhow, if you want your antiviruses to catch malware, consider the premium options. I've dropped some special discount deals for all my recommended alternatives in the description. Or you can snag Norton by scanning the QR code on the screen. If you're unsure which to choose, I'd go with Norton. It covers pretty much everything Windows security lacks. Now, as for its setup, there really isn't one. It's already in Windows OS, so you can use it immediately. But for the design and functionality, it's okay, not the best, but definitely cleaner and more understandable than it was previously. If we compare the UI with other antiviruses, it clearly lacks any sort of animations or visually pleasing effects. It can look a little too simplistic for some, but I for one love this approach. No fancy animations or extras here, which means better performance and quicker response times. On my own Windows device, I've turned off all the extra visual effects. I'm all about that smooth, lag-free experience. Even if you're totally new to this, it's super easy to start a scan or remove malware, and it's awesome that it auto-quarantines threats. Plus, it actually tells you what kind of threat it found, like this one, which was a Trojan. Now, it's not a ton of info, but it helps you understand threats better and level up as a Windows user. 
Honestly, the biggest improvement with the streamlined UI has to be the firewall and network protection. It used to be a total mess in previous versions. But now, with easy toggle buttons and just the basic info shown, even beginners can figure it out. The firewall is one of the best features of Windows security, offering strong protection and being super customizable. If you want to dive into advanced settings to allow or block specific connections, you can easily find those options down here. I also have to give Microsoft a point for allowing easy notification management. Sure, you could turn or minimize some of them before, but these settings were mostly buried somewhere. Now, it can be customized greatly with a few clicks. Next up, there's the classic Windows Troubleshooter, which you can run if you have any problem, and by design, it should help you either solve it or at least pinpoint the cause. I say should, since you've probably seen the jokes about the troubleshooter never finding any problem, even if the computer's on fire. But it can solve more basic problems. And dare I say, it has improved and is now a viable tool for beginners. There are more useful tools that Windows Security has, including device health options, but it's mostly self-explanatory and I wanna only focus on the security aspect. Windows Security also includes file encryption, core isolation, and reputation-based protection. So it's safe to say that you shouldn't abandon Windows built-in tools, just improve protection with an antivirus that can actually fend off online threats. Norton, TotalAV, or Bitdefender would be perfect for this. Not only are all of these antiviruses great at stopping malware, but they also come with a lot of extra features, like VPNs, password managers, parental controls, and proper customer support. Yeah, sure, Windows has countless forums or articles, and there's even a built-in knowledge base, but when having a real problem, a live chat support at your fingertips is a much better option. So after checking out Windows Security, it's a solid built-in option for basic protection. It's definitely improved, cleaner, faster, and easier to use than before, but when it comes to truly keeping your device safe, it's still lagging behind even the industry average. And you deserve more than just average, you deserve the best. Pair Windows Security with something like Norton or Bitdefender, and you'll have an unstoppable combo. Thanks for watching my Microsoft Defender antivirus review till the very end. Once again, the discount links for my recommended alternative antiviruses are down below. If you have any good or bad experiences with Windows Security, leave a comment sharing it. And by the way, you can find plenty of other reviews, including a full Norton review, by checking out our channel. So don't forget to subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.